I'll never understand technology. I hate it. I understand my phone, the end. <laughs> That's, That's it. all I got. <laughs> so we're ending every episode now. <laughs> I think I shout that every time, too. Oh, God. All right. One time you literally like were like almost crying. You're like, I want to go home. <laughs> the end I don't that. want to be here anymore. <laughs> All right. Would it be good? If you're recording, we're groovy. I'm kind of down. Lock my fucking door. All right. Three, two, it's, one. It's Christmas, motherfucker. Get excited. Here we go. Killer seasons, greetings, happy holidays, merry motherfucking Christmas, y'all. Shut up, Steven. Get excited. Get holly. Get jolly. It's time for our second annual Christmas special. <laughs> Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for joining us. It doesn't matter if you're on Spotify, YouTube, wherever, or on our own website, kingsofkill.com. This is the Kings of Kill podcast. We are your hosts. My name is Zach. I'm Steven. You son of a bitch, get like, excited. Just like Have some grandma. nog, my guy. It's fucking time. Our second annual Christmas special. Folks, thank you so much for being here. Stephen, will you please announce to the world what we're talking about today? Um, Looks like it's from the 60s, but it's not. It's Gremlins. Gremlins, we're so excited. Thank you all for so many holiday requests. We wish we'd get to all of them, but keep requesting. We will. We promise you. Thank you for your, for your requests. Before we get started, head on over to kingsofkill.com. You can request your very own episode today, and it's totally free. And if you like the film, you could check it out on the website, do a little shopping, get some sweet merch. It's an amazing cup. It's true. What's in my cup? You'll never know. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Steven, sir, the cock champ, thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> our second. We well, are, man. Cock We're champ. Proud. You earned it, cock champ. <laughs> This movie is batshit. This is another one of those, how was this PG-13? How did it even become successful? Get made? Oh, man. <laughs> 1984, rated PG. In fact, the reason PG-13 exists is because of Gremlins and Indiana Jones. And Spielberg said to the NC, uh, whatever it is, the ratings committee, you're not giving my movie an R. And Spielberg's so big, they're like, okay, sir, we'll make something up in between. <laughs> so Spielberg's behind all this. He's behind a lot of stuff. Uh, an hour, 46-minute running time. I think it gets longer each time I watch this movie. It, it was a tad long, but I still, I still loved it. Directed by Joe Dante, who did The Howling. He was still new at this point. He's This film made him uber famous because The Howling didn't have that much. It was more of a cult following when it started. Written by Chris Columbus, who literally wrote everything. Has written hundreds of things, produced a million things. Uh, very eclectic. Produced by Steven Spielberg. This was an Amblin production, met with a Warner Brothers production. Uh, in fact, Spielberg didn't know what his next project was going to be. He brought home a pile of scripts, saw the name Chris Columbus, giggled, like making fun of the guy. <laughs> And Reddit is like, hey, I love this. Let's do it. But the original script was actually a hard R rating. It was actually. I like, can see that. The original script was full of blood, full of mayhem, not meant for families, not meant for children. The original script was all the gremlins turn, including Gizmo. Um, and Gizmo becomes Stripe the leader. And at the very end, uh, they, like they win, basically. Um, let's do that one. <laughs> It'd be interesting, and, and it was actually uh, Spielberg's idea to add Gizmo to it and keep him a good boy. Right, right, right. Uh, came out June 8, 1984, uh, filmed in the U.S. Uh, it was filmed at the Courthouse Backlot, 
um, Universal Studios back lot, uh, um, Universal City Plaza, Universal City, a lot of Universal spots. The budget was eleven million. Opening weekend, it made twelve and a half. Went on to grow. It went up against Ghostbusters the same weekend. It was huge. Went up to gross a hundred and fifty four million dollars worldwide. Did your microwave go off? Is your oh, hot it's dog? My phone. That's your how old is your phone a toaster? How old is your phone? I don't know. And all they text was K. <laughs> it was like a Kim Possible deep deep to deep kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> The reason I, I said it was like from this, it looks, why does this movie look so old? Doesn't it look so old? It's really, it's really dark and stop motion technology. Well, I mean like the filter they put on just, it's dark, blurry it's and it looks super old, older than Jaws. And that came out five years before that or whatever. I love, like, you sound like you sound like a little kid. Be like, this movie's old and dumb. It looks old. I it just looks old. I dug this movie. I think I think a lot of people forget uh, that this is a Christmas movie. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, does it hold up super awesome? No, but it's got a cult following for a reason. You know what I mean? Uh, starring Zach Gelligan, who plays uh, Billy, um, who for some reason hangs out with with uh, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman, who is like eight in this movie. Why is that? <laughs> Bit of a gap there. Uh, Phoebe Cates did a great job. That's a uh. love interest. Boy. She still looks the exact same. I had the She's like baddest she has on her as a little boy. She, she hasn't aged. Hit her up. Phoebe Cates. Steven. I'm here. Single and ready to mingle. I'm here. <laughs> Is that you at a bar? Yeah. Pretty late I'm here. <laughs> Mega crush as a little boy. Still has a boy too. Or uh, <laughs> what? I d I don't know. The Britney Spears song. Isn't she lucky? not a girl, not yet a woman? Oh, no, no, <laughs> still the one, Faith Hill. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Phoebe Cates did a great job. Uh, uh they they chose Zach Allen and Phoebe Cates, uh, because in between takes, Zach Allen was just so glad to be there on a set, possibly getting a role that he like jokingly put his head on her shoulder and was like, ah, oh, isn't this like the dream? And like the crew was like, that's the connection we want. Bingo, that's they're the fuck, yeah. Oh, they were children, sir. <laughs> you need to calm it down. Let's, let's bring it. Let's bring it back down. Already with that. Wait, accent. That was the fastest womp I've had that's, in a long time. That, that's what she said. That's <laughs> that's what she said. Wait, <laughs> accent. Who plays Randall Helter, the inventor, the worst inventor ever? I thought originally that laugh track lasts for like eight minutes. Yeah, that oh, was, wow. oh Jesus. <laughs> That's <laughs> still going. Uh, he's like, you know, in Honey, We Shrunk the Kids, he was like a Slinky. genius investor. Yeah. This guy is an awful inventor. He's Dude, just pushing okay. garbage on people. So last episode, I said, or I, I kind of referenced saying like, this is one of those dads who sucks at inventing things, like the grandpa or whatever. This is who yeah. I was referencing. This Inspector Gadget daddy. Oh, that would have been so fucking... perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's like the Tommy Pickles dad. His Stu? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stu. Yeah, no, this guy sucks. What's wrong with Stu's nose? It's like just bent outward. Yeah, like it looks like a big toe. It's like someone punched him from the back of the head and it broke. It just <laughs> broke, bro. That is big toe, man. Uh, we have John Louie, who played Chinese Boy. Thanks, Amblin. That's Careful. Good role there. Right. <laughs> uh, Key Luke played the grandfather. Oh, he's such a perfect, perfect role. Uh, big shout out to, to Don Steele, who plays Rock and Ricky on the radio. He's like kind of behind the oh, scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, movie's a lot of fun. It, it, it's hard to do a horror comedy. It's hard to do a family horror, and I think this pulled it off. Did it age very good? No, and I don't care. Like. This is this is Evil I Dead meets ET. This is Evil Dead meets ET. Evil Dead meets ET. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give you that one. All right, all right, all right. Thanks, thanks, Cockchamp. I just appreciate that. <laughs> this movie just by its fucking. I don't even know that much about the second one, so I can't really talk much about the whole series as a whole. I've only. 
I've only seen it on TV. I think I've it only was seen a, the second one a few times. It was a cash grab. It was obviously a cash grab. Yeah. I know it's funnier. I know that for sure. And they poke fun at this one. Yeah. Even Joe do. Dante says this, he likes the second one. Yeah. They were going to make a third one, but Joe Dante refused because they wanted to do it CGI. He's like, no. Yeah. Reason now they're puppets, doing puppets a TV enough. show. So. Good choice. Oh, they are? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they're replacing him. Or he's probably back in it. I don't know. I haven't read much about I didn't ke- catch up with it. I don't know. But Gremlins is definitely happening. That's not good. No. That's not my horror news either. <laughs> um, Double research this week. I like it. I'm going to have to give you a raise. Whoa. Two coffees. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about this intro. This Chinese store. Or I don't know if they're Chinese. This is a foreign store. Yeah. Lots to unpack here. Um, the whole reason this whole movie plot exists is because this foreign man, like he caved in and gave the inspector daddy or inspector gadget daddy. That's not, that's oh. not what happened. The grandfather told him no. And the kid snuck around corner and be like, hey, oh, right, you right, remember? right. Yeah. So it's all the kids fault. Damn kids. And Corey Feldman for spilling water on it. So it's Corey Feldman. And what's the kid labeled as, or like his title in the Chinese boy. What's it called? The 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 kid that that they gave him uh they gave him the uh the Mogwai yeah his mom, yeah Chinese boy is his name Chinese boy is his actual he's That's credited as Chinese boy he's Good Lord. As Chinese so it's boy. Chinese boy and Corey Feldman's fault this whole plot exists it's a good name it's a good name yeah like, basically but also why would you buy a pet you don't literally like you know about recognize him? you've never seen on Nat Geo. He could and... have just said, okay, you said no, so I'm just going to back away. My son doesn't even know I'm going to get this for him, so I'm going to give him one of these fucking doohickeys in this giant store that's they go really weird. They go down stairs and do like a gutter store. Like, where is this thing? Underneath a rainy know. side. It looks like they walked into a casino or something. And then he walks out in slow motion with the lights as if they're remaking The Exorcist Part 3. Like, <laughs> Yes, exactly. What is that ominous shit? And like, the dad's not home for the entire thing. He's gone on some trade show. Which, to the adventure his trade show intentions. alone is crazy. They're talking on I phones wish, that look fucking from cyberpunk. I don't know. It's, I wish instead of, like, that antique road show, like, it was just that. A trader. <laughs> a trader inventor yeah. road show. No, that's where they were, and it looked like Wonka's factory. It was fucking weird. It was it was wild. Those two kids you. literally killed the entire town. It's their fault. Yeah, it's their fault. They're, they're assholes. And okay, they can't so Corey schools. Feldman fucks up by spilling water on Gizmo. Yeah. And it was adorable, by the way. Come on. That thing's adorable. Well, yeah, when you first see it, you're like, damn, I want a Furby. And then you think, like, I don't want a Furby. I'm fucking Until you 34. look at a Furby and you're like, something's wrong with that thing. Like, Yeah, I could take care of that, but do I want to? No. But, um, yeah, Gizmo, awesome. Cute as shit. I had a cat named Gizmo. Yeah, well. <laughs> cool cat. Sharing you. you know, you know what? For since you're not nice, you're not nice. You get this for nothing. You're a mean one, Mister Grinch. God damn Take it! That. <laughs> my theme song when I walk into my work. Um, so <laughs> three up, rules. What are the three rules? Can't eat after midnight. Uh, no, no water. No water. Whatsoever. Can't, can't get wet. Can't drink. Which, who the fuck? What is this animal? Um, um, How's most survive? important ones can't after midnight, but there's, oh, no sunlight. No sunlight. Okay. I know they and made kind of fun of it in the second movie, but like, what the fuck? Can't eat after midnight. What if they change time zones? Yeah, what if they move? What if they're at the North Pole? What if it's. What if they go from New York to California where it backtracks hours? So he could just get fat as fuck and eat all day. <laughs> when can it have breakfast? Like, what the shit? <laughs> or go to Hawaii where also, it's like six hours? Also, it understands and speaks English. What'd you drop? Just drop, just throw a firecracker? Oh, shit. Yeah, I dropped my, my jewel. <laughs> That's the next show. Ba-ba! Ba-ba! Oh, did it break? Uh, no, I just dropped it. Yeah, whatever. Looks like you're trying to get summon it back. You're trying to use your Jedi powers as your as your hand just outstretched underneath the desk. 
No, this Luke, this movie Luke, Luke, rules. It was fucking great. It was fucking if if this is so much fun, folks. Hit it. Hit us up on the website. We'll have it there for you. Uh, almost everything we reviewed is up on there. Rent it, watch it, buy it. It's so fun. Like this gets overlooked so easily in a holiday lineup, and I I get why because it, it's. Christmas is just in the background. This is on my Christmas fair. list every morning. Or, I mean, <laughs> every Christmas. Every morning. <laughs> every morning I have to watch this before I every start. Every morning. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a Christmas movie unless you watch this or Jingle All the Way. You and Jingle All the Way. Okay, or okay. Santa must, Claus or Love Actually. <laughs> yes. Must stop with the Love Actually. All right. <laughs> must watch Holiday Favorites. Up until recently, it's always this, Jingle All the Way, and Love Actually. I, See, I just like Love Actually so I much. just so updated it. It has to be Santa's sleigh. It's got to be Santa Claus. And it's got to be Elf. And I'm going to add Claymation Rudolph in there, too. Oh, and Bill Murray's Christmas special. Oh, yeah. His Christmas special was super good. It's so good. And it's you forget about it all the time. It's so good. Yeah, shit. That was Must watch. fantastic. Wow, it sounded fancy. It was good. <laughs> Are you doing that <laughs> I have to get this. Goddamn junkie. When you pop back up, show everybody your Christmas present. Look at that beautiful uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> the fucking worst model I've ever seen. Um, I didn't get a kill count for this because literally a whole town just oh, fucking slays. It's. It's 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 probably the hundreds. I don't know. It's it's like trying to kill Captain Zombie Land or something. How are you gonna That's do true. it? I don't know. Like the bar scene. Okay, the bar scene is uh, epic. Yeah, they got flash dance references. It looks like Star Wars Cantina. It does. It's got That's a crazy. lot of foolery. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stripe is just chilling with the ladies hard. Stripe's the man, dude. He is the man. What's up with the guy that like takes one of the gremlins? I thought he was a vet. He's not. He's a bio teacher. What is he doing taking blood samples and, and torturing I don't know, just the camp? same as John Stewart in the faculty. Taking yeah. Del- doing, <laughs> I'll doing take that alien. Thank you. Oh, this? my God. Did did that bio teacher look just like Sam Jackson in Jurassic Park? Yes. yes. Like, lab coat, same mustache. He just needs a loose cigarette in his mouth. Would have been perfect. It's like a mix of him and then the, the dude who – created Skynet in Terminator 2. Or he didn't create Skynet. But he like, reminds me of, of, of like of like Danny Glover. The guy that created mm, Skynet. Okay, yeah, yeah. Little Robert Downey Jr. Or Cuba Gooding Jr. in there. Little Robert Downey little, Jr. Little Robert Downey Jr. From Tropic Thunder. Have you seen have you seen <laughs> have you seen Cuba Jr. in and oh, in, in Iron Man? Oh man. Yeah, he was dropping thunder with the treat. I love that movie. Yeah. Oh man. No, there's so many good scenes in this. The Gremlins are so fucking funny. Like the movie, the movie theater scene when they're watching Snow White. Yeah. Like, acting yeah. more mature than me sitting through a Star Wars or a Marvel film in theaters. Like fuck's sake, they're, people. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. Like, I Dude, like, the mom. I like clapping and stuff, but like. I don't oh, care a, if Captain America grabs of all Thor's time. hammer. We don't have to do cartwheels across the screen. <laughs> like, fuck. Fucking Marvel fans, man. I mean, that's uh, fun. Whatever. Dude, the mom in this movie kicks ass. She took out like oh, the 20. the kitchen dinner scene? Oh, or the kitchen scene? Man. She, used, she used the stand mixer. She used the microwave. She used a butcher's knife. She went to town uh, on these. Norman Bates with that knife. Shit. The original <laughs> script called for them decapitating the mom. My God! Yeah, it was that dark, dude. Why does the snowplow man have to die? Did he die? I liked it. I think, I think he so. got crushed. I think he's no, in the second movie, didn't. though. Yeah, they got ran over, didn't they? By his own. Yeah, his I guess own, he uh, crawled out of the snow. He got, he got Zamboni. By his own. I forget what he says in the movie. Fucked up, man. By my own vehicle or some shit. I don't fucking. It's his. It's his tractor, his trailer, or whatever. I don't know. That's dope. Some, something, brother. Dude, how about like? That little Corella Deville bitch, who's just a total oh my jerk, God. who gets Dude. shot like a cannon out of her house. Dog killer, Hagatha or whatever. I don't know her name. Uh, she literally incredible. tells Boy Genius Junior that like, I'm gonna kill your dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
I feel it's, I was so satisfied I, and laughing hard when she died. Like I had no sympathy because it, it was so comical and ridiculous. No, nah, she was on the first seat to hell, and she fucking got whipped out of it. It was fucking tight. Um, and why do the gremlins go caroling? A lot of questions. <laughs> there's, there's so Not many scary. weird like things they do. Uh, They're going Spielberg. to the movies. They're just acting like kids, I guess. They want to be human. Spielberg liked to be. I know they're all they're all imitating English in 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 mocking human society. It's even though they've been alive for twenty four hours. I'm not. You know what I mean, dude? Uh, yeah. But Joe Dante, the director, Chris Columbus, the writer, and Spielberg were on set all the time collaborating. So literally, they would just have ideas and be like, "Can we do this?" And the puppeteers were like, "Oh, so Spielberg's okay, we want actual more money." Sure. <laughs> What's that? Spielberg's actually being a producer instead of leaving the set and shit. When when he's hands on, like movies he's just dead. have that flavor. You can just tell. Like there's some yeah. movies that you think Spielberg and they're not. He's just heavily influenced, you know, because he just really cares about his projects. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's a must watch. Oh, for sure, it's super fun, and I don't. And like fucking Corey Feldman started this whole thing. I'm fuck Feldman. <laughs> that poor kid's had like the worst life ever. <laughs> Like he spills a drink. Oops, sorry. Gizmo's back it's not pimples even a drink. are it's popping like... out like a PE kid's back pimples, like just Jesus shooting out Christ. other fur balls to make goblin looking motherfuckers. Back at the club. That's a punchline. They're still laughing. <laughs> Sign down. No, no, they got more. <laughs> Hold on, I'm recording. <laughs> Leave it the fuck in. No, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um. That was, that was so quick. I didn't even hear anything. You're like, get the fuck out. <laughs> no, it's, um. All Gizmo wanted to do is watch TV and hang with his bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Gizmo was like, he got, dope. He's a perfect pet. He literally, like, was captured the entire movie <laughs> until he had like, his whole, movie, his whole life. Birth against his will. Like yeah, his whole life is just in a box, getting captured, and then he and he liked that kid. He liked Billy. Like they had a thing; they were chilling. Sings a sweet song or whistles. I don't know what that is. Hum. I don't know what it is. He's a little sweetheart. He captures our hearts. Gizzy, you deserve better, my guy. You it's deserve true. better. It's true. Then the old man <laughs> finds him. How does he find his house? How did that happen? I want to know how Gizmo was found just to begin with. How did they get Gizmo? Did they you know grow Mag- him out of a seed? You know what Mogwai means? It just means devil. So literally, the the grandfather's like, the devil's not for sale. Get out. And the kid's like, here you go, Mr. $100. The devil, yeah. And then he tries to return it like, hey, this thing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it gets out of batteries. <laughs> This trying to brutal. kill my wife. Is everything all right? Nah, must watch. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm just excited, man. It's our second Christmas special. Uh, thank y'all. If if you've been with us from day one, thank you. If you're just tuning in, that's awesome too. I'm just excited. We've we've made it this far. Um, new requests every single week. Thanks to y'all. I'm super grateful this holiday season. I, I I really am. I'm glad you're doing this with me. I'm I'm ready for Christmas, man. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I can't wait to go to work. You're working Christmas Day? Who knows, probably. No, bullshit. Quit. Call in sick. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> it's, it's one day. You don't even usually work on that day. No, come on. Yeah, who knows? I'll fucking pay you for a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> like your boss is shoving up his uh, ass. I gotta watch uh, Jingle All the Way, man. I got stuff Jingle. to do. God, that movie's ridiculous. It's so good. What are you gonna do for Christmas? Do you uh do you have like traditions? Watch Jingle all the way. That is your, that's funny. See, Christmas Eve, we all hop in my old man's car. We we tour around uh, my hometown looking at Christmas lights. Um, and then we come to my place, have some drinks, read my daughter uh, some Christmas uh, stories. And then, um, then that morning, uh, if we've all been good boys and girls, Santa comes. Um, and then we head over to my mom's house for like, you know, gift exchanges and like dinners and stuff. But it's it's exciting, though. It's It's cool. Nice. I'm excited. That's almost like what I do. I I work. 
Come with me. Come hang out. Christmas Eve. Come through, man. I'll pour you some nog. If I'm not Let's working, I'm sitting on my recliner and watching movies. You old man. That's what I like to do. That's Hello. what. That's why you like. That's why you like that old snowplow driver because that. That's what he did. He was finally home. Yeah, in he's his, the in hero. He's the zero to hero. He's the man. <clears throat> Plowed the roads, man. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good Christmas. I got a feeling Santa just might come. I think. I think he will. You think I, he will? I don't know. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No! The worst Santa of all time, Christmas story. Dude, that guy had the reddest nose, and I don't know why. Alcohol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight whiskey Santa's on a cold been day. Oozing. <laughs> Maybe that's Rudolph's secret. He just takes a little nip. <laughs> <laughs> that's why all the reindeer hate him. He's fucking wasted. Can't fly. No shit. Come so get some coffee. Sober up. Take a nap. Rudolph, it's okay. We got step programs, my guy. Santa's an asshole. How dare you? He puts people on the naughty list, but... And he can see when people are being naughty, but he knows Rudolph is getting bullied and he doesn't do anything about it. He sees those people It's also kind Rudolph. of weird that like, he sees you when you're sleeping. You don't have to do that, guy. You can just get the fuck out. Yeah, what is he, fucking... Sting, every breath you take song? Like... It's about you're reach, you were reaching for that one. It's you about were... stalking people, so. <laughs> I'm give you, I'm a, I, because I feel bad. You're gonna get the laugh track. <laughs> um, I uh, the whole thing that I don't like is that like he gets all the credit for like my work. You know what I mean? Mm. Like my baby would be like, "Oh my god, thank you, Santa," and I'm like, "Yeah, thank that motherfucking fresh son of a bitch." <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I'm excited those about nine that. to fives for Santa. It's honestly like like what's most important about the holiday um, is is just is just trying to spread some cheer, be nice, be kind to people. You know what I mean? Um, that's what gifting's really about. And and I'm excited. I try to be really cool and, and really offer what I can to to people I care about. You know, it's about family, it's about people you love. Yeah, it's about Fast and the Furious franchise. You should put that Steven. on the Christmas list. You know Fucking what? There's no God. Christmas scene in Fast and Furious. And it's about family? Whatever, dude. I was confessing my love for you. And you bring up fast again. I don't know how. It just comes out, man. Like another Fast and Furious movie. I'm going to keep doing it every time you say fast. Oh, fuck. Fast and Furious. Got. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck do people listen to us? I have no idea. I don't know why they don't watch those movies either. I didn't no. say it. No <laughs> I didn't fucking say it. Uh, horror news. What you got, man? Uh, let me do the rating first. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> jumping the gun. My apologies. <laughs> Baby boy. What What do you rate this, sir? I'm going, I'm going with the high four and a half out of five. This is, oh, a, I, whoa. this is a Christmas whoa. classic. Wow. This this is it. This is a Christmas classic everybody should see. It's a good time. That's all I got. Four right. and a half. I don't know. Four and, four and a half fucking. Where are you looking for I, reference? For answers, band posters? Like, fucking, I don't know. Four and a half dead gremlins out of five. I don't know, dude. Hey, it works. Furbies. Whatever. I mean, I got to give it to you, man. You Furbies. I got to give it to you. You you came up with a new rating system for every movie, and we've done a year's worth of movies so far. This is a, this is almost a perfect movie. Got to give credit to you. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's awesome. Check close. it out. It's on, it's on the site. Uh, horror news. What you got, man? Oh, horror news. So, I'm nervous. It's not a lot. There's not much details into this, but okay. Teaser or what? Solberg tweets. What I can promise you is that this is going to make John Kramer fans very happy. Polishing up the next Saw script. <laughs> John Kramer 
is Jigsaw. Making another saw. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so meta because it's on Twitter. God fucking damn it! Yeah, so they're they're um. Let's do another one. Hey, you know what? Maybe we've learned so many times. You know, don't judge a book by its cover. Could be a banger. Maybe they're going back to the roots. Maybe well, they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't mind Spiral. I thought that was decent until mm-hmm. the last mm-hmm. half. But it wasn't mm-hmm. enough. That well, that's it. Like when fifty percent of it blows, like I can't call it decent. That's decent. <laughs> that's decent. <laughs> well, it it wasn't like first half, second half. I already said second half blows, but I'm gonna say like parts, chopped up parts. The like first ten minutes were, was kind of okay. I like Chris Rock in a serious role. That worked. I like the whole yeah, he did really I good. The whole like seven detective vibe that was going on, yeah. you know. But that's all. That's the only thing I like about cool. it. Looks cool. The filter they've slapped on it. it cool filter. Yeah. I liked Chris Rock with the end. The end really. Oh, it. my boy Chris Ramsey was in it. The magician. That was cool. Oh, that's Cameo. Right. That's right. That's, uh, right. that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Most of it sucked. You know what was great? Saw one was great. Stop it there. Stop making a franchise. And also, I didn't like Saw three. And they're saying this next one will make John Kramer fans happy. So like. They're gonna bring him back. Are we going back in time, or is he now a zombie? Or, or did he never die? And pan it's a the trick. camera to a picture of him and be like, "Oh my god, Jigsaw." Directed oh by god. M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> oh my god. What's the twist? Where's James Wan? James Wan, Shyamalan collaborating. Last Airbender two. It's gonna be off the hook. <laughs> I'd say another Christmas movie that just came into my head is probably Harry Potter. Really. It doesn't vibe Christmas to me. They have a Christmas every movie. movie every movie's it, a whole. It's whole magical. Year. Every movie's one year. Yeah, every year is Christmas. <laughs> it just feels. I don't know why. It just relates. Oh, I don't know. Fuck it's just, you. It's just, <laughs> that was, that was such a <laughs> missive shit to say. Christmas feel to it. There's a lot of snow. There's cheers. <laughs> uh, the writer of this movie, I think, produced. Like Christopher the first Columbus? Couple of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He for sure had his hand yeah. in it. I think directed. Oh, he directed it? Okay. He directed some Christopher Columbus. He didn't only see or find land. He fucking found Harry Potter. He didn't just sail the ocean blue. <laughs> he didn't just sail. He found he Harry didn't, Potter. didn't just get lost you in know sea. What? Fuck Harry Potter. Because why did he name Left turn. his kid after Snape? It's bullshit. He had a best friend, Ron, who was always there. He couldn't name him Ron. Or many of the other people that sacrificed their life for him? No, we can Snape who gave him shit until year seven. Whatever. How fucking nerdy are you? You're actually bothered by this shit. It's a children's book. Saying fuck Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Whatever, dude. What are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) Think you apologize to yourself and try to (laughs) try to rush off to the next subject? (laughs) It's the best debate ever. What are you doing? (laughs) What are you doing? What are you about? Oh man. Oh, name so, Snape. yeah, so guys, uh, we're going to do something special this year. We, we were thinking of like, what could we gift each other that would be both fun for us and fun for you? And we thought of something. We're going to take the weight off of each other's shoulders. We're not going to force each other to review a film. Instead, we're going to review a film on behalf of that other person. So we're going to gift each other reviews we have not seen anything that we've wrote down i am i've written on steven's behalf steven has written on my behalf we're going to send it we have not seen shit we're going to send each other right now we're going to read it live this is the other this is the other king of kill writing on behalf of the other um we're going to see how this plays out so who wants to go first? Who's going to read it first? Who's the first reviewer? I'll read it first. You're going first? Okay. Yeah, send me, right, so send me your, I wrote, my, my review. I wrote Steve a review on his behalf. He has not seen it at all. I'm going to send it to him right now. I 
and he's going to he's going to read it live on air whenever you're ready good sir (laughs) come on all right is that festivities happy festivities to all my adoring fans i guess stevie pie here (laughs) you're a cock champ speaking of the only thing i like more than cock is cats (laughs) <laughs> the most important film ever made <laughs> starring my girl Tay Tay Swifty uh, slide in my DMs bay um, please do that actually oh wow leave the country shit at home though um, and starring the most important comedian since <laughs> my favorite carrot top late night king <laughs> George, uh, James Corden I can't even read his name I fucking hate that dude <laughs> Whatever I watch this masterpiece, or is it a ca- casterpiece? <laughs> I like to don my furry cat suit. Sometimes I dress like Tony the Tiger because this movie is great. <laughs> Other times I dress as Rum Rum Tiger because I'm a spicy kitty cat. <laughs> Cats, must watch. My favorite of all time. I rate it 10 pussy looking paws out of 9. Cherished lives. Meow. Cock champ out. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. You know what? No. I'm going to give you the applause for that. That was a great review. That was a great review, Stephen. I'm glad you finally shared the world your your own opinion. We don't. We usually just talk about horror. I'm glad you branched out. Cats. You wow. Know, Cats is a dear movie to I, me and I my own yet. cats. Whenever I leave the house, I, I, I need to watch I know you're a cat guy. Yeah, I, I need that. All right. Is it is it my turn for torture? I'm How awful it is this going to be? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm already fucking mad. <laughs> Just read the first line. <laughs> Okay, thanks, bud. Here we go. Here we go. My review is Saw 3D, the final chapter. Thank you, Stephen, for your consideration. Every time a new Saw comes out, I come out. I just love how long this franchise can go on and continues to grow. Uh, I don't want that in the internet. Each installment gets better and better, as well as the kills continue to to be even more thoughtful. It's a perfect way to, supposedly, end the series. Bring in old faces and old footage while ending with a terrific twist that literally no one on Earth could see. Fucking Christ, dude. (laughs) I'll close out with my favorite kill, and that was Chester Bennington getting his skin ripped off and dying. Fuck you. You asshole. It's still too soon. I've always hated Lincoln Park, so this was very satisfying to see this happen. Four and a half out of five. You fucking asshole. God <laughs> damn it. No. Chester, I love I you. I didn't know you hated him that much. That's Oh my fucking God. Ooh. I'm gonna cry. That that's crazy, man. I was just being an asshole. That's you even, cut me deep. That's even wild mm-hmm. that my horror news had to deal with Saw. Are you excited? No. Merry Christmas. Do you want to play a game? No, I really don't. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh dude, I can't believe it's been another Christmas special. We did another Christmas special. Our first one. It's up on the website. It's we're everywhere. Check it out. Kingsakill.com. Request your episode. Next week. Make sure to tune in because we're gonna ring in the new year. How do we do that? Like only the Kings of Kill can with the second annual Cock Awards. War Countdown, the best in horror. Says who? Just us. We don't care. Yeah, just us. <laughs> We're just going to let you know what's up. But join us. We're going to celebrate. Happy New Year's ringing in with us. You guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. Have a great time. Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart to everyone listening. I appreciate you. I know Steven does too. Steven, I appreciate you. Hey, man, I appreciate all you guys. <laughs> Convincing. That's what I like about this guy over here. Uh, hey, Merry Christmas, man.
Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Listen, have a great holiday. We love you. Tune in next week. Ring in the New Year's. Follow la 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 la. My name's Zach. I'm Steven. And I love cats. And together we are the kings of. (laughs) Why? Uh, I thought we were doing some Patch Sajak going there, like some Wheel of Fortune. I already already, already cue the happy music, and you fucking ruined it with the aggressive. Where is that coming from? It's coming from a magic box. It's Christmas magic. It's a goddamn miracle. Fuck you. Have a holly jolly one, you son of a bitch. Sauce sucks. All right. (laughs)